Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover moving verts, faces, and edges. That's moving verts, faces, and edges. To begin, select the cube, tab in. Now we'll need to choose between a vert, which is what we're looking at here, or a point in some programs, an edge, and that's what I'm referring to when I say edge or face. Okay, so how do we go by manipulating verts, edges, and faces? Well, once you've tabbed into the object, or in this case, the cube, you're going to want to click Control Tab to go into Mesh Select Mode. Here you'll have the option of choosing between a vert, an edge, and a face. So let's start with the face of the object. So I'll select face. Now here I have my gizmo, which is the, the item you're looking at here, the red, blue, and green arrows. That's what we, we refer to in the 3D world as a gizmo. We have our gizmo icon. This icon will give you the option of, of, in this case, moving a face. So by pulling on the green arrow, I can move that face around. By pulling on the blue arrow, I can move that face up and down. By pulling on the red arrow, I can move that face <coughs> left to right. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull that back out from the, using the green arrow and making one final adjustment here using the blue arrow. Okay, now let's try moving an edge around. So I will control tab, select edge, select an edge, and again, adjusting the blue, green, and red arrow, I will start to move an edge around. Let's start with the blue arrow. Up and down. Using the green arrow left to right. And using the red arrow backwards and forwards. Okay. Now let's go and adjust a vert. Again, control tab. Select vertex. Select a vertex or a point, and again, adjust the point up and down. S sideways, left and right. Okay, so... You know, the, the key to this is just to get familiar with um, how to quickly manipulate these objects um, by using um, the vertex, the faces, and the edges. Um, go in, just practice. Uh, it, it'll take a little, it'll take just about a second to get used to it, but it's going to help you tremendously as you mo move forward with working in Blender.